the sun goes through a regular energy pattern, powering up and then back down about every 11 years. Well, it's coming to the end of one of those cycles and it's time for the sun to power back up. The question is, how active will this new cycle be? The official forecast comes from scientists with NASA and NOAA. They just released their prediction earlier in December saying they expect a week to average cycle, similar to the previous 11 years. But now a group of scientists from NCAR here in Boulder is disagreeing with that forecast. The data is pointing in the direction of a larger cycle. Solar physicist Scott McIntosh says he doesn't trust the forecast models used in conventional solar forecasts, saying they have become convoluted with too many variables. So he and his team from NCAR went to work trying to find another way, and they believe they've found it with a pattern in the sun's magnetic energy. This animation shows magnetic bands moving away from the sun's north and south pole. As the bands that carry opposite charges meet at the equator, they annihilate each other, something Macintosh calls a terminator event. And each time that happens throughout the historic data, there is a surge in sunspots, which are indicators of solar storm activity. And beautiful, every single one of them, 55 degrees. It's the same pattern over and over and over again. He says if this pattern holds, our next solar cycle will not only be very active, but it could be even close to record levels, opposite the official prediction. Solar storms can damage the power grid on Earth and satellites in orbit, and they can be harmful to astronauts as we expand settlements to the moon and to Mars. McIntosh says there's too much at stake to settle for a mediocre forecast. Either right or wrong, he says his new prediction will help pave the way to a much needed change in solar forecasting. That's the challenge of science, right? Is applying what you think you understand against the observations. And when the observations either validate your idea or they'll shoot you down in flames. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. It may not take long to f find out which prediction is correct. McIntosh says if he is right by the end of this coming summer, there will have already been more sunspots than the maximum amount predicted by NASA and NOAA.